so we're back day two time to finish this exhaust uh, it's pretty much done basically I just have to finish it like finish weld the one piece I had to shorten yesterday and add the, the last extension piece that'll bring it outside the rocker and make a bracket to keep it in that location so what I think I'm gonna do is how basically there's this like uh, basket bracket type thing for the original muffler there I think I'm just gonna leave that there then I don't have to do anything with it if I want to put the muffler back on and it does hold the exhaust however it does not hold it from rotating that way so I'll make a bracket for the end that will provide uh, a tether this direction so it can't it can't turn away from the bumper this will keep it from coming this way if it's anchored that way then it's not going to move at all so that's my plan I gotta take this out but before I take it out I'm going to mark up and measure the tailpipe piece so let's go do that so I got this piece here cut it checked it out it's gonna fit pretty well about like that and this needs to come in a little more here let's see so it's gonna be about right there actually like straight 90. now their saw isn't it's not like set up super correctly so there's a little bit it's a little bit off angle and i'm gonna orient it so that the it is kind of angled like that and i can also rotate this piece to set the height and so that's for the slip joint in there i'll uh once I get it mocked up a little better, I'll hammer out the details. Now guys, keep in mind, this is just off the shelf, aluminized pipe you can go buy it anywhere. So it's not gonna look that good when it's smoking. It's not gonna have any nice colors or nothing. This is just a, go get stuff from the store, make it happen, kind of thing. You wanna see something nice with nice colors, go look at the Escalade or Shane McAlary's headers, the Chase Lawton box car, all kinds of nice stuff on there. Right here, we're just trying to make something happen. This is actually the first time I've used my new Fronius Magic Wave 230 on steel. That's not really a great representation or for me to figure out what it does because this is just garbage material, but I mean, it's, it's getting it done. I'm glad to be back under the hood making some stuff. I can't wait to redo this with like some real like Wolf Aircraft stainless. I'm gonna put like a nice teardrop on and all that stuff. Oh yeah, that's nice and gray. Oh, just the way I don't like it. It's bulky and deep. Well, no it's not. But anyway, I got a bracket made, finished welded all the exhaust. Um, now I just got it, I just spray bombed it with some black. Uh, drying up, and then I'm gonna bolt it up, get it all ready to go. And currently faced with the dilemma, do I pull this thing out and try to get the shot of it going down the road while it's light outside, or do I go to the gym? because I really want to go to the gym. And if I drink my pre-workout any later than I will right now, I won't be able to sleep. So I'm kind of at a crossroads here. And I'm thinking I'll go to the gym. And then uh, later tonight, I'll just throw the GoPro up on the tripod and I'll just rip up and down this road for you guys because there's nobody here at night. It's just a big old industrial park and we'll let it eat. That poor generator's been running for two weeks. I still don't have a hook up here. Triple seven performance. Yeah, so we're just drying it out. I'm mostly concerned about this portion because that's what you'll see under the, uh, the bumper if you happen to bend over. And really, point of doing this with the available stuff is 
yeah, I wanted to do it quicker. But two, I also thought it would be a good demonstration of that you can make things and do custom stuff without having like the best of the best available as far as materials or even equipment. Like I don't, all I have here is a welder right now. I don't, I couldn't even sharpen my tungsten with anything. And I think when a lot of people get, they start to move up the ranks and you know, they got sponsors and stuff. And I even sort of found myself guilty of this in the early stages where if someone doesn't have what you have, it's garbage. And, you know, there are some cases where things are legitimately garbage and you should not use them. But for something like this, just making a custom exhaust for your motorhome or build a turbo kit for your car, if you can do it at home with your own two hands, with what you have available, power to you. If you have the resources to get nicer stuff and to do it with nicer stuff, you probably should because then that'll save you from redoing it but if you can get it done with what you got make it happen and this is what that is that's a perfect demonstration of that i bought everything i needed for this from local stores that's it nothing fancy nothing at all i have a tig welder that's what i used but you could mig weld that just as easily it would look the same because it's just the aluminized steel just does not weld nicely so that's about it uh, wait, let's wait for this paint to dry and I'm gonna go do some back day and then we'll go freaking rip up and down this road and test the jig brake and all that fun stuff. Well, just got back from the gym a little bit ago. It's dark out now and I got the bracket made, exhaust painted, all bolted up, ready to rip. The street lights provide a nice backdrop so I'm gonna do a bunch of hopping out, moving my GoPro and driving by it uh, aggressively. But let's check out the finished product under here. <sighs> My phone light. Really, like, this is about as simple as I could make it. I just put one little bracket up there, I bolted that, that angle iron on the frame, and I use the stock uh, muffler stirrups, I guess, just to kind of be there so I don't have to get rid of them. I could, like, literally. I could bolt that muffler back on in about 10 minutes if I really wanted to. So that was my goal for this. It's been accomplished. And I'm gonna throw these awnings up back in. Get uh, get this thing fired up. It doesn't have a name yet. I'm thinking about what that should be. In my head, it's just kind of been Big Al because this thing was originally built for Al Unser Jr. A nice tribute to the original owner uh, much like a certain Corvette with no body Leroy Coker is that what his name was it's Big Al if you got something to say about it let me know if you like it let me know if you got something better let me know just say something I'd like to know what you think we're gonna go make some noise
no. When did that fall over? Well, dang. <laughs> Maybe you have some good sound clips out of that. It sure freaking sounds cool. break up and down the road 14 times no it wasn't me it was one of them peterbilts not the rv that's for sure <laughs> i got an engine light on when i use the jake brake i don't know why it's not uh there during any other conditions but the jake but the jake works fine as you can see so you know i don't really know if anybody knows drop a comment um, I've been told like the wiring harness under the valve cover can get funky with the ground sometimes, but then the Jake wouldn't work. I don't really know. It's a it's a D deck three, so if anybody's a guru on that stuff, uh, I greatly appreciate. It. So we got some testing in with the straight pipe. Uh, I couldn't do a whole lot because it was just me here, but once uh, some more people are around, and I got somebody to hold a camera and then grab a car next to me. We'll go test this thing on the highway and it's gonna sound really cool. I'm pretty pumped about that. But for now, I'm glad I got done what I can get done when I can get it done, basically. There's some more Escalade stuff coming up along with less stuff. And I'm gonna be uploading almost every day, every day that I can. I'm gonna try to do it every day. Of course, some days are gonna come up where I can't, but I'm gonna get ahead of the game. So we'll see you there.